Yeah. Are we on? <laughs> you're on, you're Good on. Good morning, everybody. Happy Friday. So today we're going to do a demonstration of a summer basket. So I don't know what way the weather's going to be. We'll do the weather forecast in a minute. Hang on. But I don't know what the way the weather's going to be over the weekend. But as far as I know, it is going to be nice. So what would be just absolutely gorgeous to be sitting outside, having a barbecue and having a big basket of flowers on your table, especially if the dinner wasn't turning out great, at least then you could look at the flowers. And this is going to be using all garden flowers. Um, I think of a couple of Lysiantas that I might be sneaking in that aren't out of the garden, but everything that I am going to use today is out of the garden. And this is a basket that has been floating around. Again, I'm always talking about, you know the way, when you go to the wholesalers and you buy sets and you have to buy 10 or 20 or 12 an item, and you seem to sell or you use the first nine or 10, not a bother. And there's always the one that's left. And you're kind of saying, what will we do with the one that's left? And everybody wanted the other nine, but when it comes to that last one left on the shelf, nobody wants it. So that's what this basket is. It's kind of like one of them home alone baskets that's been left there, unwanted, nobody wanted it. So I'm gonna use that this morning. So first of all, we better do a little bit of a check-in around the country, what's happening. Absolutely lovely morning in Dublin, I have to say. The sun is fighting its way out there. The, sun, the sky is a little bit cloudy, but the sun is trying to get through. And I have to say, we're having another one of them, um, what, tropical moments, as they say. It's exceptionally warm and it's exceptionally hot and sweaty in Dublin. So whether it's a tropical moment or whether it's just the weather is being really, really nice and hopefully it's going to take up for the weekend. So if you're watching, join in, let's know who's watching, what part of the world, Ireland, whatever, Europe that you're watching for. Give us an idea what it's like around the, country, around the world. Make us jealous, seeing that we can't all fly off on our holidays this weekend. And we're going to have a giveaway. So what's the giveaway going to be today, Deirdre? Um, I think we're going to, again, we're going to do the hand-tied box. Or hand the hand-tied course. Hand -tied yeah. course. Hand -tied okay, course, yeah. so two weeks ago we gave away, I think it was two or three of the hand tied courses and that went down a treat. I have to say, we got amazing feedback. So if you go to our online school and if you just look up the hand tied um, course as a standalone course, you can actually read the testimonials or the feedback on it so far. So how does the standalone course work? Here at the school, we have our online programs, okay? So this is where they can do module one, two, three and four. They get, a member, they get made a member of what we call the Bloom Room and we supply all the flowers, all the materials, all the kit, the greenery, everything that they require for the course is all included in the price. But then we would have florists, maybe like some people that's watching today, that just are looking to maybe upskill. They don't need to learn the basics about costing or pricing or wholesalers or treating the flowers or learning some of the fundamental basic designs. They know all that but maybe they just need to upscale or maybe learn something new. Maybe it might be like learn how to do a moon gate, learn how to do a topiary tree, learn how to do some foam free arrangements like maybe suspended garlands or trailing garlands, or maybe learn how to do the hand tied bouquet, or as we call it, master the technique of doing the spirals, you know what I mean? And that's what makes the hand tied bouquet. So we have um, uploaded a hand tied bouquet course to our site. And we've also accommodated the left-handed people because most people, well, I won't say most people, but obviously I'm right-handed. So you train or you do the course right-handed. But we've had a lot of people left-handed. So what we did was we've added to the hand-tied course and we also have a section showing how to do it left-handed. So it's really accommodating. So as part of the hand-tied course, we do send you out a kit. So included in the kit would be your hand-tied boxes or your porter boxes. These come flat-packed. There's different designs and then you can assemble them up and that's all going to be shown on the video. And as you can see, they come in all different colours and designs and sizes. So we do send out the boxes. We send out a selection of the wrapping so that again in the tutorial, we show you how to make like the aqua pack, which will be the bubble of water at the bottom. We show you how you can wrap up the bouquet using um, cellophane and coloured tissue paper. We show you how you can wrap up the bouquet in the craft paper, that's the brown paper. We show you how you can make your um, bows, so we include a roll of ribbon so that you can make like your large cluster bow for going onto the hand tied box. And then we also include some um, organza so that we show you how to do the organza bows. So we normally include a couple of different colours in the organza, so again you can try it out different ways. And the other most important thing is we include a roll of the hand tied twine. So that all comes in the kit. 
So normally with the standalone course, we don't include the kiss, but for any of the winners today, if you win the hand type bouquet course, we are going to send out, give us over one of the boxes there, dear, to just show them how it comes. So it'll come in a box like this. Um, we hope you get it stuck in the post to you today and you'll have it on Monday. So in the hand type box there is all the materials that you will need to make your hand type bouquet. Now the fresh flowers is not included. You have to get them yourself. But at the very beginning of the tutorial, I give you a breakdown of exactly what amount of flowers and greenery that you will require that you can copy the bouquet exactly the same as me. And you will have three months to hold on to this tutorial. So like you don't have to do it straight away. You can hold on to the kit, leave it in your bedroom or a spare room until you're ready. And a week's time, two weeks time, you can do it then. And if maybe two weeks after that you want to go back over again or show somebody else, at least the course is yours and you have it for three months. So what's happening around the country, Deirdre? So what's happening around the country? There's loads of people tuning in this oh, morning. Very good. I think we'll come on early in future. We're on early today. Yes. Deirdre's heading down to Wexford later on. Um, her little one is attending. You probably watched it on Instagram. Everything's falling here. Um, her little one is attending, um, what would you call it? A sea uh, swimming lessons. A sea yeah. swimming lessons. She's absolutely fine. She's like a little mermaid in the sea she is. So Deirdre had some of the videos of her up on Instagram. So go over to Deirdre's Instagram page. I think today we're actually on my Instagram page. She never puts me on uh, my page. <laughs> <laughs> so go to Deirdre's Instagram page and from yesterday evening you'll see Cara swimming, oh my god, miles in the sea anyway, and she's way ahead of everybody else. That's okay. her Cara. So that's why we're rushing off. That's why we're rushing off. That's why we're rushing She gets her cert. All right, so hopefully good. she'll move up a grade from last year. So anyway, who have we got? We have the weather's overcast in Waterford. Um, we have Cherry is on from Doncaster. The weather is here is shite. Oh, it's oh, shite. Shite. oh, shite. Oh, shite in Doncaster. Jane, you might Vicky is on from Melbourne in Australia. Philomena is on from the Isle of Arran and the Isle of Arran is That's not the Isle of Arran. Not the Isle of Arran. Not the Arran Islands, Islands that we well, know. It's now open to visitors. Oh, brilliant. Um, Very good. good morning from Sunny Limerick. Um, what I'm just doing here, I'll stop for a second. I'm a block of oasis in a spray tray and I'm going to sit it down into the centre of the basket and I'm now going to use some wires and go to tape to secure it in. So what I normally do is I get two wires together at the same time. You can use a 20 or a 22, a 20 is better. So two wires together at the same time and then you're basically going to cover them in gutter tape. If you've watched me on the flare crown tutorials, I've done a lot of this with you and I've done it kind of in slow motion. Now these wires won't be long enough to go across the basket. So what we do is we do a couple of them and then I crisscross them together a bit like um, barbed wire, okay? And then I twist them. And this is how I make the wires longer. So I'm going to just continue doing these with the wires and I'm going to strap the oasis into the basket that it can't fall out. In case anybody has a few drinks at our barbecue, that this won't go flying off the table. So over to you. that's not obviously lying, so the tray is going Yeah, to that's why I had to put the tray in because obviously the basket's not lying, so there's nothing to hold water. If your basket has plastic, you could just use a frog's leg in the end of the basket and strap it in, it'd be fine. So we have Ramona is on from Transylvania and it's very sunny and it's Where's that hot. Romania? Is Romania, it? yeah. That's where um, right. Sharon is. is on from South Africa and it's cool and sunny. Lovely. Um, Ali Gardner is on, she goes to win the hand type course. We'll tell you now shortly how to do that. We well, you have, have to be thinking of a question. I know, yeah. I'll, I'll, get, there. I'll get there. I'll get there. Anne Marie is on I've from actually the question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, Christine is on from Belfast. Gosh, we're all over the country. Brilliant. Today. Listen, fair play to you all joining in. Linda now, Simmons says, amazing arrangements on Facebook last night. Happy memories of a past student. Do you remember Linda? Oh, hey, Linda. How are you? Um, I think she done the cards, was it? Or remember now what you, I know you did something I can actually see your face in front of me Linda. Oh Colleen is on morning from Bear in West Cork heading there next weekend I am so I'll see you down there. There you go do you just doing the tour de club you're talking about the staycation. Staycation I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm waiting for the And train. you know if you wait till October you could have well, what's the story with the 620 euros yeah, or something tax back or something tax like back that, on yeah. it. You have to go on holidays again in October dear. I know get the money back. Uh, Maura Buckley says your hair is gorgeous. Oh, thanks a million, thanks. Just because you have no hair band. I've got a hair band on today. Do you know, I actually straightened it this morning with the straightener. If you see me when I woke up this morning, I had a bit of a, a lie-in this morning. I um, was fast asleep and next of all I heard Deirdre was at the door calling for me and I was still in the bed. So I had to send her over to work, to work first and I knew she was in a rush this morning. So then I just had to bang the straightener on my hair to try and take all the whatever electricity out of it okay. so there's our basket there strapped in to see what the wires and it might look a little bit untidy at the moment but when you put all the material in you're not going to see it and that's a great little trick like adding the you know the two wires together a lot of people say um what about doing it how we do it on bridal 
In bridal floristry, normally what you do is you get two wires, you know, side by side and you go to tape them. And then if you want to make it longer, so say like you're doing a tail on a wedding bouquet, you get two more wires, you overlap about two centimetres from the bottom and you continue on taping to see to make it as long as you wish. And a lot of people ask me, why would I not do it that way? If you are watching, and remember you can always re-watch these videos, you've seen how hard I pulled it. So what would happen with this one, when I pulled it, you see the way it would pull, across, pull kind of away. Where when I do the twist, you know what I mean, you can see it's really, really strong there, you know, when I actually twist the wires together. So it does look untidy looking, you're not going to see it, but it's just more a secure way. And at the end of the day, people always are asking me, or they're putting up little comments about the right way or the wrong way. My belief is there is no right or wrong way. The right way is what's the easiest, the fastest, the quickest and the most profitable way of doing the arrangement. That's the right way at the end of the day. We're not sitting the legal certificate exam. And anyway, COVID-19, there was no legal no certificate this year. Anyway. So you can basically do whatever you want. And this arrangement is for the beginner, okay? And again, for somebody that has experience or has training, it's just showing you a very casual way of doing flare arrangement. Because Elaine Lawrence was on, she said she bought the hand tied module three weeks ago. It was fantastic and all the sundries came within a week. She learned more from this online course than anything she oh, that's was ever brilliant done today. before. That's she brilliant. says Deirdre makes it easy and enjoyable. She must have thought it was me. But it was oh, that was me doing it, Elaine. Jamie, <laughs> Mac. I'm Jeanette. She's Deirdre. She's the techie. But she can well do the flares and as well. What was the other one? Oh, Elizabeth says, Elizabeth Jane says, good morning from Pissy Down, South Wales. That's pissy, a new one there. That's a new Pissy weather. Pissy weather from Wales. Jane doesn't sound as nice as to shine. As to shine. Uh, no. Now, again, when I hopped up this morning dead late, I ran out to the garden and I cut a couple of batsy leaves. And cut a couple of little smaller ones as well so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start it off and again i wired them i better show you how to wire in case anyone wasn't watching last week why were you not watching last week so with the batsy leaf imagine it like your hand and like see the little fingers there with like you have your little leaves coming up and pick which one you kind of feel is your middle one right so say like that's our middle finger there and with one of the wires at 22 or a 20 about four or five centimeters up do a little stitch around the stem of the leaf the vein kind of and bend the wires down and then what you can do is you can wrap one wire around the stem and around the other piece of wire and what that gives me the and what I'm able to do then is I'm able to maneuver the leaf. You see, to get a bit of a curve or I can straighten it back up again. So that's why we wire the leaves. Now I have all these leaves wired already at the same time. So what I'm basically doing is I started with the first leaf at the edge of the basket and stepping in, I'm going to have a second leaf kind of stepped over that and then come in another little bit and I'm going to step up another little leaf and then I'm going to go for another little leaf. So I'll just turn this around now in a second just so you can kind of get the effect of it. So if I turn it sideways, can you see the way the leaves are all like floating on top of each other? If I kind of hold it that way that you can see yep. it. And what I now want to do is kind of create a line. I know I said I was going to keep this simple, but sometimes it's fed into me and I can't go wrong. So I'm just going to do another line of leaves going the opposite way. You just can't help yourself. <laughs> do you know what? As I said, I, I did say I was going to do this really casual and I wasn't going to follow any rules or whatever. But when you could, like, if you have these growing in your garden, absolutely great. Um, around my alto, there's loads of them. That's where I live. And there's also another house on the way over to St. James Hospital. Can't think of the girl's name. Um, but she said any of the students are more than welcome to take these leaves in the poor garden. Should have grown over the wall. Should have asked them to be picked to the yard. Just coming over to Instagram because yeah. I was looking at Facebook there earlier on. And we have a few weather reports as well. And it's Chilly Willy over in Fisborough. Isn't that where um, Life at Number Two lives? Life at Number Two. Is it chilly over there? Um, chilly it's... on the week. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say it might be a little bit. Um, I think they believe just for joining oh, the two of these. And they're absolutely gorgeous. You see me, I was like a monkey on the wall this morning, jumping around trying to reach the, the taller leaves. And me knackered half asleep. So I'm just going to hold this up there just so that you can kind of see the effect. You see going across and the water is pouring out the holes in the basket. And then what I'm going to do is I have some leaf shine. Put on my mask and spray it there. There we go. Love the leaf shine on the fatsy leaves. Now, what you could do if you haven't got any fatsy leaves, laurel leaves out of the garden. Now, you know the way the laurels kind of grow and there's a couple of leaves. Like, you might get the same effect like what I have there. But if you individually wire each of the laurel leaves, now, there's a very little stem on the end of them. Now, it would mean that you'd have to put in about maybe eight or ten leaves to get the effect I did with four or five. But it still looks really, really well. Our big, big ivy leaves looks fantastic. There's two questions coming in there. Deirdre Pike wants to know where did you get the basket? 
Well, I was li if you were listening at the beginning, Deirdre, where were you at half time when I was explaining? <laughs> I bought this basket absolutely years ago. And it was one of these baskets, as I said, that we bought in the wholesalers. Um, we had to buy maybe them in sets of tens. I can't even remember at this stage. And this basket has been just left lying there. It's been hanging up. And I don't know how many times I've done, you know, if you've been in the cast years and we always have our baskets hanging up out the ceiling. And I'd be looking and thinking, I must do something with that basket. And this morning we were actually planning on doing um, a table ring. That was what the plan was. Now, was actually, hang on a second. There was actually no plan. No, well, we did kind of have talked about it on the phone yesterday. <laughs> and I said, we'll do a table ring. And it came in this morning then, and then Deirdre had this basket down. And I said, I thought we were doing a table ring. She says, we've no 12-inch rings. We're waiting on them to come in. And I only had 10-inch. So it was a bit of a, and as I said, I was still knackered, half asleep. I've been jumping around getting the fatty leaves. So what I'm just doing is just a couple of um, eucalyptus. I got that this morning out of my own garden as well. So Tom the hubby. I just sorry, one more one, question. Vicky wants to know what's the name of those leaves again. Fatsia. Vicky is in Australia. Aurelia is, I'd say if you Google Aurelia, you'll probably see them coming up faster. A-R-A-L-I-A. -A -A. Um, common name seems to be Fatsia. And it is part of like the castor oil plant. But again, like in Australia, Javiki, you probably have some really, I know some of the arrangements you put up and it has some gorgeous leaves in them. I um, can't remember, I know the modern one that you sent, I think you sent it to me by email and it was beautiful and you had some lovely leaves in it. You could do the exact same trick with some of them leaves that you happen to have. They're probably more native. Paul Kinsler said Deals has those baskets in around Christmas for hampers and stuff like do that. you know what? That's, yeah, and it is a kind of a hamper basket. It's really something for keeping your, your knickers in. You know, you know the knickers and the jocks when you take them out of the washing machine or the dryer and you're waiting to sort them out and bring them upstairs. Isn't it a right little knicker basket? Well, only if you lived store. on your own. Not in my house was that many knickers, I can tell you, and jocks. <laughs> So you can see there, I'm just bringing groups of eucalyptus, as I was saying there. Um, I oh, Bernie Hurley is on. Hiya, Bernie. How are you? Bernie has a fabulous garden down there in Cork Leash. We're organising a bus trip down to her garden and we have loads of fabulous stuff. Isn't that right, Bernie? You said you're, we're more than welcome anytime. <laughs> So I just got the hubby this morning to stand up on the same little wall that I was standing up, gave him the second tears and said, listen, will you cut me a branch off the eucalyptus, which he did. And then I just kind of cut up all these short little pieces there just before I came on live. So you can see there, there's your basket kind of greened up. Um, did say I was going to do a casual, I suppose it is a little bit formal looking, but that's just how habit anyway. So it's just eucalyptus and fatsia. But like you can keep it all um, eucalyptus, all pittosporum or whatever type of green we that you happen to have in your garden. Now, all the flowers are from Deirdre's garden and the scent of these is just amazing, okay? So they are a little bit thorny. Oh my God, it just would remind you, well, to me, it just reminds you so much of um, my granny's garden, like the smell of these roses. So I'm just kind of like lifting up our fatty leaf and just sticking our rose in there. Oh my God, look at that one there with a couple of heads on it. Again, I'm trying not to follow a pattern. I'm going to bring this one. Because it's so big, this one, I'm going to bring it kind of like in the centre there. Sometimes you might find with the fatty leaves that it can be a bit awkward to kind of get down at the foam. But it is possible to actually stick through the leaf, you know, like make a hole in the leaf. You can do it with the stem of the flower or you could even use the top blade of your scissors. Better do the competition, Jenna. Okay, so what's going to be the competition going to you be? You said you had the question. Well, I was thinking where you were heading to today after the course. All oh, right, then okay, yeah. We're doing our swimming competition. Yeah, absolutely. So we have the 20 dancer on Instagram, 20 so that, dancer on like, so Facebook. So Deirdre Pike won't be able to, because she wasn't listening at the no, beginning. No, Deirdre Pike wasn't listening <laughs> so at the beginning, so she win, won't win. Deirdre, because you weren't listening at the beginning. <laughs> we're somewhere down the southeast. That might be a bit sunny. That might be, it's always sunny. It's always sunny down where it is. And we're always talking about it here on the on the page. So there you can just see just a couple of roses. And again, you can keep a group to like I'm doing it. Or again, you could disperse them like all over the page. All over the page. <laughs> all over the basket. Okay, next flare then I have a couple of... Um, now, you must be something eating your hydrangeas. Yeah, I know. Yeah. are very bad here. <laughs> so we have a couple of fabulous hydrangeas. Okay? the kids. They're probably the starving. These are They're beautiful They're gorgeous, here. actually, yeah. Deirdre was talking to me yesterday when she was down in Wexford. And there was fabulous hydrangeas down there yesterday. And oh, um, everywhere. I was saying to her, she just bring bring back a load to my sister. And, we could, and she said, but we, what are we going to do with them? And I said, should we can dry them and we can use them like at a later stage. So like anybody that is able to get their hands on lots of hydrangeas, you know that way. Do you remember I did, um, I'm going to cut a few leaves here, Deirdre. 
a few bad leaves on this one. That's okay. um, what you could do is condition them really, really well, because that's what I did with my ones. Do you remember the green ones? And I dried them. So I used them in a fresh arrangement. I explained all about conditioning. Go to the, the blog page, how to prolong the life of your hydrangeas. And like even these hydrangeas, you can see like they're absolutely soaking wet. Can you see them? Like, well, what we do with the hydrangeas is we dunk them in a bucket of water. Like after we've done all the other treatment on them, you know that way, we dunk them and basically drown them. And I only took them out of the water a little while ago. And um, like they've taken lots and lots of water through their petals. So what I'm just kind of doing over this side of the basket, again, you can see the way I'm just kind of keeping like a group of the hydrangeas over here. And again, we have a few bad leaves, but when I cut the bad leaves off and they're mixed in with my lovely foliage, you know what I mean? <laughs> they're absolutely fine. I could do one more um, pink hydrangea, but she didn't rub enough, okay? So we have a little bit of pink. Um, <coughs> another bit. Oh, there's another. It's a different colour hydrangea, but she will put it in there kind of beside it. Actually, down in, in Wexford, they, there's Now, I know I have a cop on spot there, but I'll come back to that in a little while. There's purple hydrangea. Oh, my God, they're just amazing. So there we have... Um, Lupins. Your lupins, absolutely fabulous, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. When they open up, they'll be beautiful. And then we have a little bit of um, antorium. There we go. Not antoriums. Antorinums. Antorinums. <laughs> there we go. Stick a few of them in. So anyway, the question is going to be, where is Deirdre heading after the course? Where is she heading? Down southeast. And the 20 dancer is going to win. And what you're going to win is a hand-tied bouquet course. So this is one of our standalone courses that's on our website. So again, just to kind of show you there how I'm working this, I'm going to come back over to the other side. Um, so this is one of our gorgeous lilies. Were these growing in your garden or did you sneak these in? No, they were actually, I snuck those in. You snuck them in, yeah. they're fabulous, they are. They're really nice. I'm going to mostly stick to the buds I am. Um, so the standalone course is where you can learn all the techniques of how to make a hand-tied bouquet. And what we do is we actually send you out the kit so you have all the materials. So what happens is when you have that type of course, unless you have like say the boxes which come flat packed and you have like your hand tied string and all your different wrappings like your cellophane, your tissues, your organza ribbons, your florist ribbon, your hand tied string, it's nearly impossible to kind of like cover that course. So we send you out a kit as part of the prize, okay? for making your own hand tied bouquets. We don't send out the flowers, but we do give you a list of all the flowers that you will need. And then what you can do yourself is you can go to your local florist, buy your flowers, and then you can make the arrangement exactly, or the bouquet flowers, exactly like I will be demonstrating on the online course. So this is like where we have a standalone course. So we have like our programs, is where all our students get joined into the bloom room. And then we have our standalone courses is where there's maybe flowers who just want to learn one particular item or maybe somebody who's interested in flowers and just wants to upskill or learn a new little trend. So again, you can just see, we'll just have a few lilies there. Now, a little bit of Hebe. So the Hebe foliage will just have to have a flower on at the moment. Share. I don't see too many shares. Yeah, kind of okay, now. girls. Like, I want everybody and boys. and boys, we want you all to start sharing for us. So that would be the whole idea when we come on here live is to kind of build up our... Um, our following our interaction yeah. our following and our interaction and get ourselves out there maybe known with a few more people so if you could click share while you're watching okay it's not going to affect the video at all so click share there and that will just maybe open us out to maybe other people that maybe might watch us and um, let other people see I actually what don't know do. what that is not that one the other one this um, one here. Yeah, but it actually gets a bigger flair. Bernie Hurley Bernie might know. Bernie are you watching? What is this? You know what? It's like we're not great on the horticultural. <laughs> um, this is another type of lavender, isn't it? I don't know what it is. I have a clue. Isn't it beautiful? It's anyway, gorgeous, yeah. And I'm just going to let it stick up a little bit wild on this side of the basket. It's only scent off it as well. It's really nice. It is kind of like a... Oh, we have who? We have Peanut Philippa from Dara in Australia. Well, I'd love come. to win the course. I can do it online. And, and, do, and she said, well, oh, God, the honour where I'm heading to. I'm just seeing all the comments <laughs> now. Um, Are you sharing, Deirdre? Because remember, we know if you share. So you can't be saying you did. Because we know. Do you think stock would work? I think stock, stock would is actually, fabulous. My stock is tiny. It just wasn't, there wasn't enough stem on it. I just found um, another bit of the blue hebe, so I just kind of brought it over to the other side there. Well, that's great. Bernie, did you find out what this stuff is yet? Any idea? Anybody else watching know what it is? 
We haven't got a clue, but it's lovely anyway. And again, I'm just sticking it up, kind of like off centre. Actually, Sinead, her sister, somewhere. she was watching Sinead. If you know what that yeah, thing Sinead, is called. Yeah, Sinead, you're You should know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> so again, a few Lizzie Antis here now. Again, these weren't grown in her own garden. She snuck these in. I snuck them in too, yeah. But sure. It's again, like this cost, well, it cost us nothing to do because all the foliage was stuff that we had in our own garden. And the majority of flowers, um, again, were out of our own garden. And even if you haven't got the Lysiantas or the lilies, you could just use more of whatever flowers you happen to have. Now, I'd love if any of you are doing these arrangements at home that you would post the photographs either on the K's page or even in the Flurry Fun group and let us see. So again, as you turn the arrangement around, the idea is that it always looks a little bit different. So you can really see there is no like shape nor make, you know, even though with the foliage I might have started off like um, with some sort of little pattern. But the idea is, is to just basically stick your flowers in whatever way you feel. I'm just going to put another little bit of Lizzie Ann just kind of floating out over this side here. Now, as I said, we thought this would be lovely as a summer barbecue um, party. I mean, did we get any invites? Yet. Yet, no. But you know, when you go to a party, so you have to have a few drinks. So what about a can of Gordon's pink gin, okay? So all I've done is I've just strapped, like a lollipop stick, but it's actually a waxing stick. So I have some lollipop sticks, and this is where I'm just going to add in a couple of Gordon's gin, to see, into our basket. So you could imagine you'd be sitting there, and then you could just whip out a can of Gordon's pink gin while you're sitting there at the summer barbecue, and basically... Cheers and enjoy yourself. What do you think of that, Deirdre? Yeah, it's gorgeous. So there, Somebody said, is it Russian You sage? can tell us anything, because yeah. we haven't got a clue. No, so we, a clue. It does sound, like Russian, does sound like Russian sage. I'd say, well. say it could be Russian sage. Haven't got a clue. Like yeah, anybody. Her big bush is full of them. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> don't, pre, don't get personal there now. Maybe Maybe leave, leave your bush out of it. Leave your bush out of it. So there's our summer barbecue basket. Ready where our I only had three cans of the gorgeous gin. I had a bit of a session doing oh, like the rest of it. Who's the winner? <laughs> Who's the winner? <laughs> Bernie Hurley. <laughs> so Bernie Hurley, you've won the hand tied bouquet course, even though you didn't know what the right name of the Russian sage was. <laughs> so we're gonna send you on um, one of the kits and a code so that you can download the hand tied bouquet course for free and you'll have it for three months. So all we need you to do is send us on your address so that we can get the kit in the post for you today. So and that's on Instagram, Facebook, our winner it? is Mark Shan 10. Okay, so Mark Shan 10, hopefully you're still watching over on Instagram. So you're the winner of our hand tied bouquet course. Um, it's a commercial standalone course. And again, we're going to post you out the kit. So if you could just message us on your address and then we can stick the kit in the post to you today and we'll send you a little code and you can actually go and download the course tonight or today, whenever you want, and we'll send you all the directions. So That's congratulations. Gorgeous. It's lovely. So as I said, it's a very informal basket of flowers. <laughs> like, what are you laughing at? Paul Kinsley told whoever was on there. Was be bush. Trimmed her bush. <laughs> so whoever was on about her bush there, you've been told by Paul Kinsley at number two. Go and follow him on Instagram. He's absolutely gas and he's great for DIY tips and tricks around the house. Um, um, I'd say he'd have something fancier than this for keeping his jocks in. I'd say he probably that. has, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so whoever it is, you're, you've been told to go and trim your bush. So listen, um, thanks a million for joining in. Again, we want to... Oh, well, hang on, just because okay. um, I have put up a code. I have a code for the hand tied course so you're feeling so very generous I know, 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 I know. I'm just, but, but we actually hit over 230 people well wow, that's that brilliant, life, so. fair play that is brilliant, and great, thanks a million everybody for joining in there then the code for the hand tied course for anyone that does want to buy it is country basket and what you, how much you give them 100 euro 100 euro, Jesus you're very feckin generous I'm going on my holidays down to Wexford <laughs> <laughs> okay so anybody that wants to um, purchase the hand tied bouquet course um, you can get a hundred euros discount off it. All you have to do in the voucher box is use the word country baskets, one word. Co yes, country yeah. basket. Country basket. Um, dear, just put it in the comments she has. And we're posting them out of kit, are we? Oh, yeah. All right, so you're going to get posted out of kit as well. So do that for the next, what, 48 hours? 48 hours, okay, that's 48 it. 48 hours. The code is valid for, and what we'll do is purchase the course, Drop us an email with your address. We'll stick the kit in the post to you. Now, if it's later on today, your kit I'll will be gone to Wexford. Yeah. So unless you're on the way to Wexford, Deirdre can drop it into you. 
and if you are, make sure you have loads of hydrangeas in the bag ready for it, because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for loads of hydrangeas, and we're going to dry them, and loads of great plants now for autumn, winter, using up all our dried hydrangeas. So, listen, have a fabulous weekend, everybody. Hopefully the sun does come out. Hopefully the pissy weather in Wales will dry up, and the shit weather in Dorset. Somebody so said, just said, how much is it if you live in Northern Ireland, the, the hand tie course? It's euros, it's, yeah. So whatever it converts into sterling, so it'll be cheaper anyway, so... Um, not really sure. If you go into Google Currency Exchange, um, it'll come up straight away. Give you an idea, around, yeah. I think there's about twenty euro discount on every hundred euros. You know that way. Well, I wouldn't so, say not discount, but it's just discount, yeah. But it's just with the exchange. So I think eighty sterling is around a hundred euros. Now I'm not Google Currency. That's just a guess. Okay. Okay. Thanks, a million. Thanks a million. Bye. Everybody. Have a great day. Bye bye.